everyone, welcome to the Oakley Roots YouTube channel and welcome to Studio B. This is my second filming studio. I actually needed a second space because I had some rather large packages coming in. Rakoma reached out to me and asked if I'd like to film some videos using their incredible EM1010 10 needle embroidery machine. Now they are allowing me to play with this machine for a few months. I'm so excited to learn about the machine, to show you what it can do, to make all kinds of things. I mean, there are things on this machine that we can do that I have not been able to do on my one needle embroidery machine back at home. So today's video is an unboxing video. We all know how much I like a good unboxing video. We're gonna go through these giant boxes, set up a couple things, and then I'm gonna talk more about how the training goes. Rakoma has been a fantastic company to work with. They really want you to understand your machine in and out before you start using it. Everything is done online. You don't need to carry this like 500 pound, it's not really, but huge box to a sewing machine store in order to receive training on it. Everything is done online. They have a trainer that you have to meet with before you play with your machine who makes sure you understand everything. I. I am so blown away by the customer support so far with Rakoma and how important it is to them that the customer knows what to do. I feel like that can be lost with a lot of purchases we make and I just, I love that. I love that the company wants you to know how to use your awesome giant machine. So when you first get your EM1010, you will have three boxes. This huge box, which I obviously cannot get in the shot, this is going to be the actual module with your display, with your 10 needles, with everything you need. This other very large box here is the frame. So this is like a table for this. You don't have to use it, but it is highly encouraged. This is going to keep that embroidery machine nice and stable. So whatever you're doing, <laughs> it's not going to move around on you. And last is this little small white box here. I have no idea what's in this, but I'm really excited to find out. So let's first dive in and see what's in this little white box. I'm just gonna scooch it in over here. I, I'm, I'm gonna move all of these things around. Um, I just, I need my muscle to move the boxes. They're very heavy. Make sure you have some help when you get these boxes. You're gonna need it. They're very heavy. So let's open this up. I'm assuming this is like accessories. Yes, so this is Madeira. I know I'm probably saying that wrong. Madeira, Madeira. It's a catalog of sewing supplies. You'll get that. Let's see, it looks like this is just a bunch of like samples of products. So then we have Easy Backing and Topping. This is the Aqua Supreme. I learned about that in the video. They have a 10 video pre-training you have to go through before you can do your one-on-one -on -one live training over the computer. It's, it's amazing, I love it. And then what's in here? Poly Neon. Oh, this is great. Look at this. It is a chart of all of the different colors that they have for Madeira. Oh, I buy these normally for my threads. So this, I love that it comes with that. Okay, lots of different stabilizers. We have the, the Easy Cut Super Hefty Plus, Easy Tear, so cut away, tear away, wipe away, aqua, wash away, I think it's called. Now what is this? This is for caps. I'm most excited about this. I have never even thought about putting an embroidery design on a hat, but now I'm really into it. All right, and then there's this box here, and it looks like this is a bunch of thread. So let's see. Yep, here we go. We have 10 different spools of thread here, nice bright colors, so that's fantastic to get you started. There's more threads. Let's see, another five threads, one giant shaped thread. A bunch of bobbins here that are already pre-wound. That's fantastic. And then what is this? Oh, a bunch of needles, some tweezers. Heck yeah, I love that. So this is a really good, good little care package setup to get you started so you don't have to run to the store and buy, you know, thousand dollars worth of things to just try out your machine. This is fantastic, so thank you for that. All right, as you saw, I brought in the muscles. So now I'm just a little bit, this is a big box guys, it's huge. I just wanted to share too, they do give you a little folder here with a welcome letter. And then in it, they have a 16 gigabyte USB. 
And what I really, really like too is that on this sheet here, they have a list of digitizers and places you can buy everything. So if you need to buy shirts, if you need to buy caps, if you need to buy towels, if you need somebody to digitize something for you, meaning you have a logo, like for me, I will be using one of these digitizers for my logo so that I can embroider my little ogler logo on whatever I want. They have a list of it. You don't have to go searching the internet. You don't have to go asking people out on Facebook if they know anybody. I love that. So these are people and companies that they know are good. Ah, oh, everything. I love that. God, it makes it so much easier. I, I always find the hardest thing is like finding help. There you go, there's your list. Thank you so much for coming. All right, so let's look at this. This is the, this is the huge box. So you can see it has a picture of what you got on the front. So let's just look at me, I'm so strong. Oh my God, even the box part is heavy. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure we're fine. It's fine, everything's fine. All right, so then you have this giant white box here. So let's see what we gotta do. I need some scissors. All right, let's reposition ourselves just a little bit. This is, this is a very large box. I am gonna check with Rakoma and see if they have a service that will come and set up everything for you because these are such heavy boxes. To be completely honest, if I didn't have my husband helping me, I don't think I could be moving these in any way, shape, or form. But let's take a look at what's in this one box. So I'm just gonna cut the tape and they have stuff taped on to all of the four sides. No idea what this is. So here we have a tray. You know what these are? These are hoops. And man, oh man, these are a lot of hoops. Look at these. So these are all the pieces you need. When you take the pre-training, they're gonna go over all of these pieces in depth. But these are all the pieces you need for all these different hoops. Look, we have this here. Oh my goodness, look at all these hoops. Let's, should we dive into the bag? I think we should dive into the bag. Let's look in the bag. All right. <laughs> look at this itty bitty hoop. <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh, I love it. The tiny hoop. The itty bitty hoop. Bigger hoop. Real big hoop. My goodness. And then, colossal hoop. Wow, that, that's awesome. We're gonna make some really, really fun stuff. I'm actually kind of hoping we could figure out a way to use this machine to help us do some quilting. I don't know, that might be a stretch of my imagination, but where there is a will, there is a way. So next we see it has this awesome hat, little Rakoma hat, it's already embroidered, that's so cool. No, oh, I don't like it. Well, I think that's adorable. There we go. <laughs> and then we have a HCDA cable. Looks like this is gonna be for hooking up whatever type of electronics you need to this. This cap is cute, right? Should I wear trucker hats? Am I like a trucker hat wearer now? All right, let's take the hat off. That was fun. All right, so here's where we are. What are we gonna do now? When you get this, it's probably a good idea to open this on a floor. Since I am opening this up on a table dresser, I'm a little worried that something's gonna fall down, so. With me. Oh, look at that beauty. <gasps> look at that. Oh, this is so pretty. This is seriously gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. All right, let's work on this some more. Okay, so this was on the other side of the styrofoam. I just took off that back styrofoam and put it over here. I wanted to show you all of these pieces as well. This is a, pretty much all the stuff you need to embroider hats. That's so exciting. <laughs> Okay, so let's look what we got in here. Okay, so first, power cable, because we need that. <laughs> power is necessary. You know how some kids have like those little surprise boxes and they open up a little thing, it's like, ooh, what's this accessory? This is like the grown-ups surprise box. I mean, it's a very expensive surprise box, but it is fun to open up all of these little knickknacks. Now what the heck? Oh, so these are like, all of the little foam pieces you're gonna need for your thread, a bunch of tops. So, okay, a lot of like the little bits that you don't wanna lose. So maybe if you have like a cute little pouch that you made, maybe put all these pieces in there. Whoa. All right, so I did take my training, Rakoma. I know you're watching and I did take my training. I know what this is. This is actually something you clamp onto your table top right here to help set up your cap before you put on the embroidery machine. So you can see this here is a little clamp that's gonna go on your table 
so that you can firmly get your cap all set up. This is very intimidating. To be honest, it's very big and hefty and I'm really excited to learn how to use this. All right, and then this bottom unit here, this is actually what's gonna go on to the embroidery machine. And then what you'll do is you'll attach your cap unit to this and then it will embroider on the cap just like that. So this is the piece that goes onto the embroidery machine. I know that all of these pieces can seem very intimidating. That's why I'm here, honestly, because if I can figure this stuff out, and you guys know how confused I get with machines and just basic things sometimes, but if I can figure all of this out and successfully make something, then if you're interested in purchasing something like this, which is an investment, to be completely honest, this is not a, a simple purchase for most of us. So if you wanna make a purchase like that, you're gonna wanna make sure you actually know how to use it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. All right, so it looks like this is empty. Let's go ahead and toss it. So here is what you buy. Like this is why you bought the machine, right? This is the 10 needle huge embroidery machine. I am both intimidated and excited and a little bit nervous all at the same time. So let's, let's take off the plastic and take a look at this. Now Recoma was fantastic. They were in communication with me for a couple weeks before they mailed this out. They prep this machine for you. So of course they make sure everything works right, but they do all the tension checks. They actually thread it with different threads for every single needle to make it a little bit easier for you. I will be honest, I watched the instructional on how to thread the machine and there are quite a few steps, but they do have a trick of tying off your thread to the existing thread first so that you don't have to go through all of that. It's of course important to know how to thread your machine, but they pre-thread it for you so that you don't have to thread all 10 needles right when you get it in order to just use it. So look at this beautiful machine. I don't even know where to start right now. So honestly, the first thing I wanna look at is this little, little monitor over here. This is going to be where you do your work before this sucker does its work. It has a certificate on it, telling you when it was inspected, telling you that it passed QA, so does anybody else just love all the trinkets? So this is something that came in here with it. And this is a lot of stuff and a really cute storage bin. I know, I know, you know, it's just a huge machine. And I'm like, look at the plastic bin though. More needles, another 16 gigabyte flash drive. And I will say that they did say it has to be 16 gigabytes or less. So if you've got one of those 64 gigabyte flash drives, that's not gonna work with this machine. Make sure you get the 16 gig or less all kinds of oils and pieces and extras and tools and oh my gosh there's even more things here and screwdrivers oh it has screwdrivers that's pretty neat and springs Woo! you know you get like this with any sewing machine you buy all the little extras it's like ooh, i hope i don't need them because i don't know what to do with that you will know what to do with all of this and that again is one thing that i can definitely recommend so far with this has been the customer service they are so fast to respond to emails. They'll call you, they'll Zoom you, they'll do a video conferencing, they'll do whatever you need in order for you to be able to use your machine the way you wanna use it. So here we go, here's the machine. It is beautiful. Thank you so much, Rakoma, for allowing me to play with this for a little bit. If you are interested in learning more about the machine, check down in the description of this video. I will have an affiliate link down there for you. I cannot wait to show you more what we can do with this. So if you have any specific questions, leave them down in the comments of this video. I'm going to add a little clip in here showing you how I pieced together the base of this machine. There are instructions showing you how to do it, part of the pre-training, they do not leave you in the dark. I'm gonna go ahead and piece together the base of the machine and then I'm going to do the training with the one-on-one -on -one instructor. After I do that training, I'm gonna report back for a little bit at the end of this video just to give you an update of how that training went. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. Step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave So take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and the moment to spare a 
bit frightening. So here we go. It's all set up. It's ready to go. It's so beautiful. I love that it has its own stand here with a little shelf area right here. This is going to be so, so much fun to play with. I think this would be a great machine for anybody who's interested in embroidery, especially if you already have a little bit of experience. Like you already have a one needle embroidery machine, but especially for anyone starting or working in a small business and you wanna incorporate embroidery into your small business, that is such a like big ticket item, having embroidery available. So I do feel like if you incorporate this with your business, it is a good investment. However, like I said, it is an investment. So if you're just starting out with embroidery, you're more than welcome to go check out this embroidery machine. But for me personally, this is something that I would work my way up to. I'm so, so excited to show you what we can do with this. If you have any suggestions for ideas, if you have any certain things you wanna learn, like you really wanna know how to embroider on a beanie, embroider on a baseball cap, make sure you leave it down in the comment section down below. We will figure that out. We have a few months to play with this. We're gonna bust out as many tutorials as we can using this machine. Just a heads up that all the embroidery tutorials will be done on Thursdays. So I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing of the Recoma EM1010 embroidery machine, 10 needles, so exciting. I'm just like, I'm itching to get started, but I do have to do my training. I will report back at the end of this video to let you know how that training went. It can be a bit frightening. Something you don't know. You need a little enlightening. It'll make you grow. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the day. Training is done. Training went fantastic. The number of days you spend training depends on the model of the machine you get, and they are not messing around with the training. I did my training with Willie, and it was no joke. I was quizzed. You get quizzed on this. They not only, you know, show you everything you need to do, but then to make sure you're paying attention, they make you show them what to do. They quiz you on this. It's crazy, but it's so, so good. It's the best way to learn your machine. This is a heavy duty machine. This is not a paperweight sewing machine. You need to know how to use this. By the end of training, you know it in and out. You know exactly what every single button does because you've played with it, you've tried it. You know exactly where to oil, where to grease. Yes, there's grease. <laughs> so you know a lot about the machine and what to do. So I will say after the training and setup and everything like that, I am no longer intimidated by the machine itself. I am now intimidated by all of the ideas that I have. I'm just saying I might have ordered about a dozen caps. I don't know why, but I just really want to embroider some hats now. So that is a whole new rabbit hole you're going to go down if you purchase a machine like this. All of the things you can do. I mean, besides the standard options like shirts, beanies, onesies, blankets, stuffies. Oh my gosh, there's so many. You could also make bags, accessories. We could probably use this for quilting. I feel like there's so many things we can do with this machine and we can really think outside of the box. So I'm excited to have a few months to play with the machine, to get your guys' ideas, to show you guys some fun stuff we can do with this. If you already own a Recoma, please leave a comment down below and let me know how you like it, how you like working with it. Recoma actually has an owners only Facebook group and the information in there is amazing because not only is it owners of Recoma machines, it's also Recoma tech and Recoma support part of the group. They are the ones running it. So when you post a question, you get so many answers from experienced embroiderers, but also from Recoma themselves. So I think that is just crazy helpful. You guys know how much I love my Facebook groups. So after a couple weeks of playing with this, the machine, the company, the support, two thumbs up all the way around. Very, very excited about this. I will let you guys know if I have any problems with the machine and I have to contact tech support. We will go through that together. I'll show you the whole process. There are so many amazing tools and products that you can use with your designs with this machine. So I'm really excited to get my hands on some of those, see what we can do with it. 
If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them down in the comment section. Also, Recoma has an amazing YouTube channel where they give you so many tutorials of all the basics and the complicated projects you can do with this machine. I will have a link for their YouTube channel down in the description of this video. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Get out there and make something. Bye, guys. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the day. If you have the will.